why dreams feel so real. Dreams have long been speculated over and studied. In ancient Greece, Hippocrates hypothesized that dreams are a sign of illness. Sigmund Freud believed dreams are methods to avoid emotional stress. Carl Jung viewed dreams as a way to problem solve through archetypal conflicts. Alfred Adler later expanded upon Jung's theory, believing that dreams were a way of playing out inferiority complexes. In the modern era, we are still trying to understand dreams scientifically, spiritually, and emotionally. Dreams can be entertaining, disturbing, or downright bizarre. We all dream, even if we don't remember it the next day. But why do we dream? Our sleep occurs in different stages. There are two basic types of sleep, REM and non-REM. REM stands for rapid eye movement. These have different stages. People will cycle through these stages several times in a typical night. Stage 1 is non-REM sleep, which lasts for several minutes. It is the changeover between being awake and falling asleep. Stage 2 is non-REM sleep, which is a period of light sleep before entering deep sleep. Stage 3 is also non-REM sleep. People need this period of deep sleep to feel refreshed in the morning. Stage 4 is REM sleep, which occurs about 90 minutes after falling asleep. People dream when they are in REM sleep. During this time, the eyes move quickly from side to side under closed eyelids, and the arm and leg muscles become paralyzed. This prevents people from acting out their dreams. There are many theories about why we dream, but no one knows for sure. Some researchers say dreams have no purpose or meaning. Others say we need dreams for our mental, emotional, and physical health. Studies have looked into the importance of dreams to our health and well-being. In one study, researchers woke people just as they were going into REM sleep. They found that those who weren't allowed to dream had one, more tension. 2. Anxiety. 3. Depression. 4. A hard time concentrating. 5. Lack of coordination. 6. Weight gain. 7. A tendency to hallucinate. Many experts say dreams exist to help solve problems in our lives, incorporate memories and process emotions. If you go to bed with a troubling thought, you may wake up with a solution or at least feel better about the situation. Some dreams may help our brains process our thoughts and the events of the day. Others may just be the result of normal brain activity and mean very little, if anything. Researchers are still trying to figure out exactly why we dream. How long do dreams last? REM sleep lasts only a few minutes early in the night but gets longer as we sleep. Later in the night, it might last more than 30 minutes. So you might spend half an hour in a single dream. 5 Causes of Vivid Dreams Sleep experts have identified certain stressors that may produce vivid dreams in some people. 1. Sleep disruptions, vivid dreams that feel indistinguishable from real life may be the result of fragmented sleep. Waking during a period of REM sleep rather than at the end of a sleep cycle can cause you to remember your dreams vividly. 2. Medical conditions, vivid dreams may be linked to conditions such as narcolepsy, insomnia, and schizophrenia. 3. Medications, you may experience vivid dreams as a result of taking some medications. They include beta blockers, antidepressants, blood pressure medications, and some sleep medicines. 4. Stress, anxiety, and trauma, if you're experiencing stress, anxiety, depression, emotional trauma, or post-traumatic stress disorder, you may be more susceptible to vivid bad dreams. 5. Substance abuse, vivid dreams may result from the use of drugs and alcohol. What do dreams mean? Famous psychologist Sigmund Freud believed that dreams are a window into our subconscious mind. They reveal a person's unconscious desires, thoughts and motivations. Freud thought dreams were a way for people to satisfy urges and desires that weren't acceptable to society. Just as there are different opinions about why we dream, there are different views about what dreams mean. Some experts say dreams have no connection to our real emotions or thoughts. They're just strange stories that don't relate to normal life. Others say our dreams may reflect our own thoughts and feelings. 
It portrays our deepest desires, fears, and concerns, especially dreams that happen over and over. Interpreting our dreams By interpreting our dreams, we may gain insight into our lives and ourselves. Many people say that they've come up with their best ideas while dreaming. Often, people report having similar dreams, they're being chased, fall off a cliff, or show up in public naked. These types of dreams are probably caused by hidden stress or anxiety. The dreams may be similar, but experts say the meaning behind the dream is unique to each person. Experts say not to rely on books or dream dictionaries, which give a specific meaning for a specific dream image or symbol. The reason behind your dream is unique to you. Why are dreams hard to remember? Researchers don't know for sure why dreams are easily forgotten. Maybe we're designed to forget our dreams, if we remembered them all, we might not be able to differentiate from reality. It could be harder to remember because during REM sleep, body may shut down systems in our brain creating memories. We may remember only those dreams that happen just before we wake, when certain brain activities are turned back on. Some say it's not that our minds forget dreams but that we don't know how to access them. Dreams may be stored in our memory, waiting to be recalled. This may explain why you suddenly remember a dream later in the day, something may have happened to trigger the memory. Scientists today can tell whether someone is dreaming and what they might be dreaming about. They do so by looking at electroencephalogram EEG, scans. The study published earlier in Nature Neuroscience was the first to demonstrate that brain activity while dreaming mirrored that of the subject when he or she was doing the same thing when awake. The same parts of the brain recruited in facial recognition were recruited during dreams which included faces. Dreams feel so real, Blagrove says, because they are a simulation. When you are on drugs or having a hallucination, you have a reality to compare your experience to. By contrast, when you are sleeping no such alternative exists. Sleep professionals call these nighttime visions vivid dreams. Vivid dreams are just the dreams that we can recall in vivid detail because they feel so real. They can be good dreams, even sex dreams, or bad dreams, like falling off a cliff with no chute. They can be realistic or pure fantasy. The one thing all vivid dreams have in common is their intensity and lifelike feeling. Vivid dreams feel more like real life than a dream. Vivid dreams They're the kind of dream where you wake up able to recall every last excruciating detail. Sometimes it leaves you with an emotional hangover as you try to figure out what exactly had happened and why. When do lucid dreams happen? Lucid dreams are most common during rapid eye movement REM, sleep. It is a period of very deep sleep marked by eye motion, faster breathing, and more brain activity. You usually enter REM sleep about 90 minutes after falling asleep. It lasts about 10 minutes. As you sleep, each REM period is longer than the one before, finally lasting up to an hour. Lucid Dreams Research Neuroscientists don't know exactly how and why lucid dreams happen. But they have some ideas. For one thing, studies have found physical differences in the brains of people who do and don't have lucid dreams. The very front part of the brain, called the prefrontal cortex. It is the site of high-level tasks like making decisions and recalling memories. It is bigger in size for people who have lucid dreams. That suggests that people who are most likely to have lucid dreams tend to be self-reflective types who chew over thoughts. One small study in Germany tracked brain electrical activity in volunteers as they slept. Based on these measurements, the researchers say, lucid dreaming may be kind of a between state where you aren't fully awake but not quite asleep, either. Some sleep scientists believe that lucid dreams may also happen just outside of REM sleep. Do dreams have meaning? Whether dreams have meaning is a difficult question to answer because there is no way to answer objectively. Meaning is not a scientific thing. Even Freud and Jung, have theories that are not technically substantiated. Some other theories about what dreams mean include 1. Activation synthesis theory is by a group of Harvard University psychiatrists. Dreams occur in the brainstem and are prompted by new information. 2. Threat simulation theory is created by a Finnish cognitive neuroscientist and psychologist. This theory states that dreaming is a way to prepare for real-life situations that you're worried about. 3. 
deep biological response to life, one study claims that dreams are an evolutionary response. Especially when people have negative dreams, involving violence or enemies. It's a way for the dreamer to understand and move past these antagonistic relationships. 4. A way to wrap your head around new information and memories. Dream and memory. Another study proposes that dreaming is just a way that your brain organizes knowledge, forms connections, and helps with memory. In addition, it suggests that dreaming helps with problem solving, decision making, and prioritizing. 5. Generally, today most people seem to embrace a Freudian outlook on dreams that reveal hidden emotions and desires. These dreams also help in problem solving, memory formation, and random brain activity. Most people accept that their dreams are connected to their unconscious mind. They can be terrifying, exciting, magical, adventurous, sexual, and much more. Usually, dreams happen without the dreamer controlling them. Sometimes dreams can be inspiring and sometimes they can be terrifying. Freud created a complex psychological system to attempt to decode, understand, and try to source the dream. Freud theorized dreams might be repressed childhood memories. For centuries humans collectively have sought to understand the real meaning of dreams. We can't stop dreams from happening or ever truly understand the causes of human emotions, images, and memories. Perhaps rather than trying to understand exactly what they mean, simply try to enjoy your dreams each night. Adults and babies alike dream for around two hours per night even if they don't remember it upon waking. In fact, researchers have found that people usually have several dreams each night. Each one typically lasts for between 5 to 20 or 30 minutes. During a typical lifetime, people spend an average of 6 years dreaming. Some characteristics that all dreams have in common. 1. Most dreams are forgotten. As much as 95% of all dreams are quickly forgotten shortly after waking. Changes in the brain during sleep do not support the information processing and storage needed for memory formation. Brain scans of sleeping individuals have shown that the frontal lobes are inactive during REM sleep. Central lobes are the area that plays a key role in memory formation. REM sleep is the stage in which dreaming occurs. A 2016 study was published in the journal Behavioral and Brain Sciences. It found that forgetting dreams may also be due to changes in levels of certain neurotransmitters. It notes specifically acetylcholine and norepinephrine, during REM sleep. Yet another study was published in Frontiers of Psychology. It found a link between dream recall and the brain matter density of the medial prefrontal cortex, MPFC. Dream Recall Participants with higher white matter density reported higher dream recall. 2. Not all dreams are in color. While most people report dreaming in color, roughly 12% of people claim to only dream in black and white. In studies, dreamers have been awakened and asked to select colors from a chart that match those in their dreams. Soft pastel colors are the ones most frequently chosen. People who are under the age of 25 rarely report dreaming in black and white. People over the age of 55, however, report black and white dreams about 25% of the time. Researchers believe that this difference is a result of childhood exposure to black and white television. This idea is supported by an older study, which found that people in the 1940s rarely reported dreaming in color. 3. Men and women dream differently. Researchers have found some differences between men and women when it comes to the content of their dreams. In several studies, men reported dreaming about weapons significantly more often than women did. While women dreamed about references to clothing more often than men. Another study showed that men's dreams tend to have more aggressive content and physical activity. Women's dreams contain more rejection and exclusion, as well as more conversation than physical activity. Women tend to have slightly longer dreams that feature more characters. When it comes to the characters, men dream about other men twice as often as they do about women. Women tend to dream about both sexes equally. 4. Animals probably dream. Many think that when a sleeping dog wags its tail or when a sleeping cat swats its paws, it is dreaming. While it's hard to say for sure whether this is truly the case, researchers believe that it's likely. Most animals, including mammals, 
birds, reptiles, and fish, do go through sleep stages, including REM and not REM. It means that they do indeed dream. Animals might not experience dreams in the same way as humans. However in other words, they may not wake up, remember images, and attach a storyline to it. 5. You can control your dreams. A lucid dream is one in which you are aware that you are dreaming even though you're still asleep. Lucid dreaming is thought to be a combination state of both consciousness and REM sleep. During lucid dreaming, you can often direct or control the dream content. Lucid dream Researchers say that people can use various techniques to learn how to lucid dream. It includes mnemonic induction of lucid dreams MILD, and senses initiated lucid dreams SLD. It involves waking up after 5 hours and repeating a phrase like I will remember my dreaming or focus on the stimuli, sights, sounds, sensations, in your sleep environment, respectively. Approximately half of all people can remember experiencing at least one instance of lucid dreaming. Some individuals are able to have lucid dreams quite frequently. 6. Negative dreams are more common. Over a period of 40 years, researcher Calvin S. Hall, PhD, collected over 50,000 dream accounts from college students. These reports were made available to the public during the 1990s by Hall's student William Domhoff. The dream accounts revealed that many emotions are experienced during dreams. Several factors can impact the emotional content of dreams, including anxiety, stress, and certain medications. One study found that external stimuli, including good and bad smells, can play a role in positive and negative dreams. Most common emotion experienced in dreams is anxiety, and negative emotions are much more common than positive ones. 7. Blind people may dream visually. In one study was conducted on people who have been blind since birth. Researchers found that they still seem to experience visual imagery in their dreams. They also had eye movements that correlated to visual dream recall. Their eye movements were fewer during REM than the sighted participants of the study. But the blind participants reported the same dream sensations, including visual content. 8. You're paralyzed while dreaming. REM sleep is characterized by paralysis of the voluntary muscles. The phenomenon is known as rematonia and prevents you from acting out your dreams while you're asleep. Basically, because motor neurons are not stimulated, your body does not move. In some cases, this paralysis can even carry over into the waking state for as long as 10 minutes, a condition known as sleep paralysis. While the experience can be frightening, experts advise that it is perfectly normal and should last only a few minutes before normal muscle control returns. 9. Some dreams are universal. Researchers have found that certain dream themes are very common across different cultures. For example, people from all over the world frequently dream about being chased, being attacked, or falling. Other common dream experiences include feeling frozen and unable to move, arriving late, flying, and being naked in public.